Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with a Topshop haul. I actually did this order a few nights back. It arrived just yesterday in the evening and I'm so excited because there's actually quite a few bits in this order that I think will be really good for kind of lounging. So very, very excited about this. And there's some really great basic pieces in here. Um, I'm really excited about it. So I'm just gonna get stuck into it. I'm not gonna ramble too much. As always, if you haven't seen my other videos recently, a small disclaimer, uh, there are obviously moments of joy, happiness in a lot of the videos I put up. I'm a naturally very positive person. This video is obviously light relief. It doesn't take away from the awful things happening in the world right now. So I really just wanted to say that before there is any kind of like chat about that in the comments. Um, this is light relief for you guys and we're all super worried. Um, I could go on, I'll probably leave more of a disclaimer in the comments, but I know we are all worried right now and I just thought this could take our minds off of things. So without further ado, let's get into it. Ah! <laughs> oh, this is not the time to be losing a nail. It's all black and white. Shocking. <laughs> I don't even know what's what because it is all just one color. Uh, so <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. There's a lot of tops going on in this haul. That is one thing I know for sure, but something that I was very excited about ordering. And this is the main reason I went onto Topshop because I really wanted these. These are what I'm gonna call apartment pants. Mm -hmm. Apartment pants. These are apartment pants. I need to watch Friends this afternoon. That is one of my actual favorite episodes. Um, <laughs> I pitched apartment pants to my boss and he loved it. I'm actually crying, I can't be serious right now. These are ribbed, kind of knitted trouser bottoms. And these are ones that I think will length permitting be kind of cool outside of the house with a pair of trainers but mostly just very very comfy inside the house and they're gonna look so chic i personally love wearing like this high neck top this is from asos i really need to find another one of this because uh, i've had this for about five years and i love it and i'm really scared that it's just one day gonna fall apart in the washing machine so i need to find another like very fitted uh kind of perfect thickness high neck jumper but it will work perfectly with these and just look really chic but so comfortable around the house you guys know if you've watched my videos before i love loungewear i love loungewear so i knew i needed something like this in my loungewear wardrobe because i have something similar but much thinner in white uh much thinner being that it's very see-through like you can actually see my tattoos through it if you look closely enough um i have a tan pair which are great i love wearing those whilst tanning because they just never get color on them ever it's amazing but i wanted just like a nice chic pair and these are going to be perfect and they're much thicker as well so i feel like i could get away with wearing them out of the house if i needed to nip out and i wouldn't look like i'm in my pajamas so yeah very excited to try these are on i'm hoping the length is going to be good if not i don't know if you can get these tailored it's i don't know risky business okay so if these shots look a little bit different to usual it's because i've put you either side of my blinds in my living room because uh the light is crap today but i want to get this up today for you so uh we've had a little rejig but these are the Topshop trousers. I'm not gonna lie, I don't think they're like the most flattering. I think maybe uh, size up if you want them to kind of hang a little bit lower or just like not um, cling to your hips so much. But other than that, I do really like them. Uh, they're so comfy. The length is great for me. You can wear them, I wear them like on my waist. But you could wear them lower if you wanted them to be longer. Um, and they literally just about skim the floor. So with trainers on, they'd be absolutely fine if I needed to pop out of the house. So really happy with these. And they look very, very cute with uh, my black roll neck. And I'm sure they look really nice with like my Topshop um, racer back tops as well. So super, super happy with these. I think they're just gonna be a really great staple uh, for me when I'm hanging out around the house. Uh, and as an all black lover, this is just, so perfect, like perfect, like chic at home lounge wear. I'm gonna carry on with basics before I get into some more pretty springy things. Some of you may have heard in my last vlog, I talked about the, I think it's a brand called Kate. I'm gonna put it over the screen because I've probably got the brand wrong, but there are these bodies that quite a few people have, Rosie Huntington Whiteley included, and they're like very square cut and like really they go out to the edges um which i have i think it was lydia that said like it's actually quite impractical and does fall off a little bit but lots of the high street retailers are now producing something very similar but with a rounded neck and the top shot ones are the best dupe i have seen so far i have one from all saints which is an amazing dupe it's just but much more it's much more simple compared to this. This has the puff sleeve, which is very, I don't know if you can see the puff sleeve, there we go. It's very similar to the body in question with this little puff sleeve because it's kind of got a square and then it's got a little puff. 
um, but this is just a rounder neckline. Um, it's still very, very wide, so I'm really excited to try these on. I know I just said body. This one isn't a body, though, so these are just tops, which is perfect for if you want something like that, um, but you don't want to have to faff around with the fact that, you know, bodies can be a little bit tedious, especially if you want to go to the toilet. So um, these are much more practical. So Topshop are doing a dupe, but it's a top, not a body. Getting my words all jumbled up. Wow. As some of you might be able to tell, or just be wondering, it's the morning. My coffee has kicked in. I'm not gonna say anymore. But yeah, I got this, uh, the black one, and then they do a white one as well. That's not this one. Oh, here it is. Which you'll probably be able to see the texture a bit better um, on this, I hope. So it's ribbed, um, same as the uh, high-end one, and then with the little puff sleeve. I'm so excited to try this on. I do think, though, it's gonna be much like my All Saints one. It's gonna be very thin. It might actually be worse than my All Saints one. It feels thinner. So I'm definitely gonna be hopping onto ASOS this evening and uh, ordering myself a strapless white bra. I don't know why I struggle with the, uh, the wording for that. I haven't left the house in three days, kids. Please forgive me. <laughs> okay, so this is the black top. The shoulders aren't the most structured. I don't know if uh, it needs a little bit more breathing time because uh, obviously it's been in transit, but yeah, really, really cute. I like the length of it. It comes down to around here and I feel like because of that it will tuck well into most things. I think if something is especially low rise it would kind of be slightly awkward but for most items now I think uh, the length of it is perfect for tucking into most items that you'll have in your wardrobe. Um, yeah I really like it. It's got a low back but you can still wear a bra with it. I'm a fan of this. I like it. Um, I'm interested to see uh, whether the white one is uh, a little bit see-through so we'll see. So it's, it's a little bit see-through, so 100% uh, gonna be wearing a bra with this, um, but they are very, very cute. I really like the sleeves on this one. They kind of poke up a little bit more, which is cool. Um, yeah, I really like it. So that's the back. So like I said, in the main part of the video, I've got these in a size 10, and so far, uh, everything that I've tried on has been like perfect fit. Happy with these, just uh, definitely gonna need to get a little strapless bra. Along the line of a square neck and puff sleeve can you tell what i'm obsessed with right now i wanted to try this top from topshop it's a like jersey body and then more of a shirt material is it a shirt material yeah and like a shirt material sleeve this material actually feels amazing like really lovely quality and it's got like uh elasticated sleeves so you get more of a bell sleeve i'm gonna say i'm really excited to try that on i think it looks so cute with my topshop premium mum jeans that's so cute it is cropped so if you don't like a crop it's gonna be a bit annoying um zara also do a top much like this but the body is black and the sleeves are a little bit sheerer and that is beautiful i may have ordered it zara haul incoming next week as long as deliveries carry on coming as you can tell I've been bored. I hope nobody minds, but there will be hauls coming up because uh, this is my coping mechanism throughout this time. So this top is a little bit disappointing, I'm gonna say, because uh, even though it's jersey around the body, it's not a very tight jersey, which does make it easier to get on because it isn't too tight. But uh, I would say if it was a stretchier material, like a lot of the Zara ones, they don't group around here so much. Like there's a lot of excess material because it's not uh, stretchy enough and doesn't like shrink back down around your waist. Um, so for someone like me, I couldn't go down to an eight because my boobs definitely wouldn't allow for that. But uh, my waist, is so so much smaller um than the top of my chest so uh for that reason i'm getting this kind of like wrinkling happen a lot and it's just a little bit annoying um so i'm excited for the zara version of this to arrive because i believe it's going to be the same material as another puff sleeved top that i have from them um and that is really really fitted around the body because it's just a different material it's very 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 very, very stretchy so um i think that's going to work out a lot better for me um but this is so cute i'm kind of sad that it didn't work out let's see how the zara one goes this top i just think is really cute um i'm not entirely sure if the length is for me but i think maybe tucked in something this would be very cute and i love the sweetheart neckline i love this kind of neckline so much and it's like a really lovely what do you call this like because this has two this type of material has two names so it's either dobby or plop poplin poplin <laughs> I have bedding in this, uh, is it on my, yeah, my bedding is also this texture. I'm not sure what the material is, but it's so sweet, so sweet. So yeah, I think this with maybe like some high-waisted leather trousers would look really, really cute just to kind of balance out the fact that it's very, very, very feminine. And um, 
I sometimes feel very uncomfortable if I suddenly look like, I just feel like I look like a doll. I think especially with the long hair, which obviously I love and it's not going anywhere. I think something to like toughen it up a little bit is always kind of quite welcomed when I'm putting an outfit together. I've got it in a size 10. I've got everything in this haul in a size 10. This is so cute, you guys. I really, really love it. Uh, I think it works perfectly with leather trousers on me. I'm really, really happy with this look. I think it will work really nicely with normal trousers as well. If you're in more of an office situation, I think it's a great top uh, for a number of different occasions, just for springtime in general. It's quite a smart kind of top, like smart but feminine. Um, I think it will work for so many different occasions for so many people um, and I do think it's a very flattering cut the one thing I would say is size up because when I was trying it on there was like a slight obviously you get this like like the buttons basically gape open if it's too tight so um, this is a little bit more roomy on me which is great but I can imagine if it was smaller it might not be so flattering so I would say if in doubt definitely size up but yeah I'm so happy with it it's so cute so so cute a little bit see-through but not the worst so yeah i would say a normal bra like a normal white bra might work with this but if not a white strapless um if i find one and i order one uh before this video goes up i'll link one in the info box for you guys it's so cute i actually love it more than i thought i was going to so i think i'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this one over the spring we have another very feminine top this one really intrigued me there's just a lot going on and i quite liked it um so it's like that kind of uh what do you call this that kind of like ruched material all around the um torso so it's very like it's going to be very sucked in it's going to be very fitted around here and then it's got just these really lovely very detailed very frilly sleeves puff sleeve and then it comes down to um the kind of ruching and then the little frill at the end very very girly it might be overkill on me i'm not sure but we'll give it a go it's also got a little kind of tie back which is interesting because i don't know if this is necessary i don't know if i would do that up i'm not sure we'll see but uh yeah really really cute oh i just love white white at the moment it's just making me feel springy i really like these tops because they are very spring appropriate like long sleeve like white blouses they make you feel like you're dipping your toe into summer but without being absolutely freezing considering it's march and it's still quite cold outside this white blouse i am not such a fan of the small square neck uh, like it comes up quite high the actual square of the neckline is quite small uh, i don't love i don't think it's like massively flattering it's quite an awkward length as well to tuck into weirdly um it keeps popping out from under my trousers not the biggest fan of this one i have to say which is a shame but there are some other great white blouses in this haul so i'm not that mad and um, to be honest i could do with sending a few bits back and uh this will be one of them it's just oh, it keeps poking out that's so annoying i think it's just because there's this like frill and actually even though it's like that ruched material it's not particularly tight which is really odd that's really odd like normally it's very like skin tight on me with that kind of like ruched in material so bit annoying but uh i'm not mad i ain't mad this is loungewear i forgot about this one i love this so this is a jumpsuit it's got a zip back and then an elasticated waist and pockets most importantly and then it just comes into an elasticated uh leg that's the word <laughs> sleeveless rounded neck quite a wide neck really um i quite like a rounded neck i don't like it when they come up too high unless they're meant to be high necked it's in a like slightly off-white drawstring drawstring waist i like the fact that the legs on this are elasticated because it means that if you are shorter you can just roll up and it should still look great i'm really excited to try this one on i'm gonna live in this over well the rest of my life but most importantly in the next few weeks yeah that'll be an absolute staple in my loungewear wardrobe if that fits well so this is the jumpsuit. I actually really like this. When I first put it on, it was riding up a lot higher and sitting properly like on top of my hips here, which isn't so flattering. But what I did is I pulled it down and then even though it made the legs really long, I just rolled the legs up three times. So if you are around five foot one, five foot two, um, I would advise rolling up your legs quite a lot. Um, it doesn't look too bad. It would obviously look amazing if I had a ton of extra leg length and I didn't have to roll them up at all, but... Uh, <laughs> short people can't be choosy so uh yeah i'm really happy with it though i really like the racer type cut but it's not too 
um, severe that you couldn't wear a bra underneath this. Uh, but if you didn't want to, it's also quite thick, so I feel like you could probably get away with it. If you're just lounging around the house and you can't be bothered, I think this is a really nice one, and you can also pull the waist in a bit more if you want. I'm happy with it how it is, to be honest. I think it's elasticated enough without having to um, pull the drawstring in at all. And um, yeah, love the fact that it has pockets. So cute. Oh, this is so cute. Mm. So this is gonna be one of those things that over the summer I will wear a lot. It is very girly, but I think um, this is just that perfect summer dress. It will look best with one of my tan pairs of sandals, a really lovely tan bag or a nude bag. It's so, so pretty. So we have the elasticated ruched body, got puff sleeves, more of a square neckline, but you could wear this off shoulder as well, depending on what you find most flattering. I prefer a square structure because I have quite wide shoulders. Um, I don't mind having wide shoulders. I actually really like it um, because I have quite wide hips as well. I'm well balanced and I have no qualms about that, but this does definitely exaggerate it. So I will probably wear it like this. I think it will look very cute and um, makes the puff sleeve just that little bit more exaggerated as well which is really sweet sleeve length is short and then the skirt is like a midi length supposedly but i think on me it will be looking um more maxi i reckon and it's got a split on the side as well which given my height it's probably not going to come up very far so it won't be like a kind of sexy vibe but it will just um allow for like better movement within the dress i definitely think it's going to be a bit see-through but I think it's just gonna be a great staple piece for the summer. Just pop some nude underwear on underneath and good to go. Okay, so this is lovely. I think it will be an absolute staple for me during the summer months. Um, this actually comes up on the leg higher than I thought it would, which is great because it just gives you a little bit more room to move and to breathe and it just is slightly more flattering. The sleeves are like perfect puffiness, nothing too dramatic, but just adds a really nice shape um, to your silhouette and I really like the cut on the chest as well and the ruching on the uh, torso is just like perfect like hits at the perfect point on my waist as well which very rarely happens um and it just is perfect like tightness as well it's not coming loose at any point uh so this is going to be my perfect easy summer dress when i'm just having those days where it's like i'm hot but i don't know what to wear but i want to look cute but i don't want to look too much this is the one so yeah i paired it with my chloe sandals and uh, yeah, I'd probably go with a cute little wicker bag or maybe my uh, big kind of like canvas tote bag that's over there. Um, yeah, I love it. It's really, really cute. Then I picked up a couple of basics. So I've got a black, I think these are called the Weekender t-shirt from Topshop. Just like a boxy style uh, plain t-shirt to be honest. I would say if you're average height or above, these will probably start coming up more of a cropped length. But on me, they're kind of like perfect t-shirt length and I really like these um, kind of knotted at the front. So they become even more cropped, but it's really nice to wear with like a midi skirt or denim shorts, mom jeans, leather trousers. To be honest, it's a plain t-shirt. They go with absolutely everything. I could be here all day listing the things that this will go with. But I really like the Topshop Weekender t-shirts. They feel so lovely, like really nice quality. Um, I picked up a black one. Then I also picked up a white one. The white one, they are like a slightly thinner material, but it definitely like adds to the quality. They don't feel like um, a very rigid, thick, kind of t cheaper t-shirt that you get from like Fruit and Loom, if that makes sense. Um, like your PE style t-shirts, they don't really feel like that. Um, but they are a little bit thinner, which makes them feel nicer so i would say this will probably need a nude or a white bra on underneath but yeah they're a tenner each i just think they are a great basic piece to have in your wardrobe i got it in a small both of them um and yeah just think they'll go really really well with all of my loungewear and with my denim basically everything in my wardrobe i go through t-shirts a lot at the moment so i just thought i'd pick up another set because you can never really have too many t-shirts especially if you're wearing them day in day out so this is the black t-shirt i've just worn it styled into a knot i literally twisted it and then just like knotted it through i just love these t-shirts i think they're great i really like the sleeve length of them as well nice and long so it covers up the majority of your arm um, and i've just paired it with the ribbed trousers uh, i really like the black on black yeah it feels so nice like the quality of these are lovely i would highly recommend these if you're looking for a good basic so this is the white t-shirt i've just paired it with my topshop premium mom jeans and again i've just knotted uh the t-shirt in the center and yeah that's probably how i would wear it to be honest but you could um just tuck it normally so i would do like a half tuck so like that 
that is also cute or you can twist and tuck if you don't want a lot of your uh summer con show so this is really hard to do one hand twist tuck and then tuck the rest in and it just gives you like some nice kind of movement uh to your t-shirt it just really cinches everything in and those kind of shapes kind of give the illusion of like shaping going on towards your waist so yeah i just think it's very very flattering finally i have this dress and sometimes there's always a haul where i like get to the end and that, the last bit i'm like what were you thinking why did you order this i don't know it must have looked better on the model than it does off a hanger so i'm gonna give this a go it's kind of like a rounded neckline um puffy sleeves but then the body is like that kind of ruched material but all the way down with frills you can't really see it because the lighting is like not not having it but i was like what 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 i'm guessing i probably went through the like mindset of i could wear this with biker boots and no tights or tights but like maybe no tights uh, or my Gucci tights, which would be quite cool because it's a bit of a statement. Um, I think that must have been the thinking I was going through. And then I can also wear it like for evenings in the summer. We'll see. We'll see about that. So this is the black dress. I think it's going to come down to personal taste with this one. I just feel a little bit too much in it. I don't know. I might send it to some of my friends and get some advice. But because there's so many frills on it, I'm just a little bit like... <sighs> so I'm not sure on this one. I also paired it with the... Uh, black biker boots that I have because uh, I feel like this was probably my vision when I ordered this dress uh, but zero stars do not recommend I just don't think it's like massively flattering if you are tall this is going to be great though because I've actually had to like ruche this up because it actually comes down to like my knees um, but yeah I'm not I'm not sure I love it it feels actually for the fact that it's quite a casual material, it feels quite dressy. Um, so I'm just not sure if this is uh, the one for me. I would love your opinions on it. Uh, please leave them in the comments below. That is it for today's Topshop haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. Do let me know what your favorite pieces were in the comments below. And if you have any video requests as well at the moment, I would absolutely love to hear from you. I'm gonna get back to vlogging, I think from tomorrow. So um, any requests that I see in tonight's comments, I'll probably just like start kind of filtering those requests in in that kind of way but yeah i hope you're all doing well and that you're healthy stay safe be kind and i'll see you guys again very very soon goodbye